Hello and welcome to episode 62 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've got the final two games of the season for you. We're away to Wrexham and then at home to Woking. And since you were last with me, we've played only two matches. We beat Birmingham City 1-0 away from home. And most recently, Carlisle United 3-2 at home. So let's get straight into the uh, Wrexham game. And I'll show you the team for that one in just a moment. Okay, here is the uh, team for the game against Wrexham. And it is coming in goal. Back four of small pool. Elise and Vincent Young, Kapakpe at the base of midfield, Chaplin and Berry ahead of him, Harness on the left, Somerville on the right, McAuliffe up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, well my newly hired assistant manager is uh, recommending pick up where you left off last time out. We weren't that great last time out, so I'm going to disagree with him and uh, say uh, we are favourites for a reason and I want us to play like it. So we're favourites here and I want us to play like it. We'll go with that. There we go. Okay, let's uh, get into the match. As always, first 10 minutes, we will just observe, see how things go and make any changes we deem necessary. And we have had a shot in the first 10 minutes, not highlight worthy, uh, as of uh, Wrexham though, so let's demand more. And see if we can uh, make our uh, slight dominance of the opening period count for something before the uh, interval. So, uh, 25 minutes gone, still nil-nil, no, uh, no highlights at all yet. And uh, it's looking increasingly like we're going to go through a uh, first half with no highlights at all. As we enter the final five minutes, we do finally get one. But it is a Wrexham highlight. Uh, Williams is dispossessed but still manages to smuggle it to Bowden. Uh, Bennett to Bakinson, Bennett and uh, Jewison Bennett has given uh, Wrexham a uh, slightly undeserved lead. It's Wrexham 1, Ipswich Town 0. So let's demand more. And we're going to go attacking as well as soon as we get the chance to do it. In fact, we'll do it now. Uh, there we go. Kapak pay to Elise. And he's holding the ball up, finds Kapakpe again, who gives it straight back to him, into Chaplin, to Somerville, and he plays it out to the left and Harness, McAuliffe in on goal, but uh, fires high and wide, and it does very much look like, despite dominating the first half, we're going to go in at half time. A goal down, although Kapak pays one the header, finds Somerville. He plays it out to the left and Harness. Harness on the edge of the area, plays it in for McAuliffe. Glenn McAuliffe buries the ball into the back of the net, but it's disallowed for offside. So it remains 1-0 and that is the half-time score. So let's go into the dressing room. Uh, thrash the arms, been terrible, sorted out. And what changes do we need to make at half time? Um, we need a new left back. So let's put Kapakpe to left back. Thierry Small for Jack Spong. And what else can we do? Uh, Ryan Alabiosu for Alex Kapakpe. So that's two changes. That will do for now. Uh, McAuliffe is not having a great game, but uh, we don't want to use all three subs in the first half. 
In fact, let's make change at right back, bring on Neil Ross. And let's then have a look. In fact, we've got more subs we can use. I could bring on Lyndon Dykes up front. As we enter the final 20 minutes, I'm going to do exactly that. Um, as Taylor brings it forward for Wrexham. Finds only a Libiosu though. And it's played into Spong. Who gives it straight back to Alebiosu. Crosses the halfway line. Plays it through. Wall pass. Ends up with Harness. Back to Chaplin. Plays it through for Harness. Into McAuliffe. And uh, it's in the back of the net. And it's disallowed again. So two disallowed goals. And I'm going to take Somerville off. And bring on Lyndon Dykes. Can we get a goal that counts in the remaining minutes? Looking increasingly unlikely. And uh, there we go. Confirm result. Wrexham 1. Ipswich Town 0. I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Time now for the second match of today's episode at home to Woking, our final match of the uh, League One season. And uh, just one change in the uh, team lineup for uh, this one. And uh, it is at right back where Neil Ross comes in, uh, replacing uh, Kane Vincent Young. So the team in full then is Jamie Cumming in goal, back four of Neil Ross, Adji Elise, Regan Poole, and Thierry Small. It is Alex Kapakpe at the base of midfield, Aaron Berry and Connor Chaplin in central midfield, Crescencio Somerville and Marcus Harness on the wings, and Glenn McAuliffe up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, the assistant manager is saying we're favourites for a reason. Go out there and make sure they're left in no doubt as to why. Um yeah go on I think that's reasonable so we'll pump the fists and agree with him and let's start the uh, match and once again we're going to wait the uh, first 10 minutes through see how the uh, land lies and then make uh, any necessary changes to the strategy that we need to not much riding on the game uh, the only uh, advantage we can gain is finishing 10th as opposed to 11th or 12th. As Crescencio Somerville comes down the right-hand side, plays it back to Ross, and he's dispossessed. And uh, Davis plays it into Rolls, through for Gordon. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and John Kimani Gordon has uh, given Woking the lead. Um, yeah, Jamie Cumming could definitely have done better with that one. But he was left rather exposed by his back four. So let's demand more. In fact, I've clicked the wrong one there. As it's a Woking corner, headed away. And uh, Blake has it for Woking. Finds Hall to Lockyer into Robson. Back to Lockyer. Robson to Nolan. We can't get the ball back off Woking at the moment. Lockyer into Rolls. Rolls cross and uh, a Pia Forson has given Woking a two goal lead. Not the uh, start we had in mind at all. So definitely a demand more now. Going attacking. Pull with the ball forward. For Ipswich, Marcus Harness. Plays it back to Connor Chaplin. To Kapakpe, shot deflected, but Kinnear with the save. And already this is looking like uh, a double defeat episode. Berry to Somerville, he's lost it, but won it back. Ross to Alaze to Kapakpe, back to the goalkeeper coming. Finds Poole to Kapakpe, 
finds Thierry Small on the left. He's double teamed and dispossessed, but gets back in a position, but not soon enough. The shot cannons off the crossbar and thankfully goes harmlessly away. We are a woefully second best in this one and having uh, undeservedly lost the first game, we look like we're going to deservedly be on the end of a defeat this time. And uh, it's half time, Ipswich nil, Woking 2. So let's get into the dressing room. Uh, come on lads, show a bit of desire. And I think we'll make three changes at half time. Um, right, Marcus Harness is coming off for Lyndon Dykes. Um, what else can we change? There isn't an awful lot that needs to change. Um, Crescencio Somerville needs to come off, so I'll put McAuliffe out on the wing. Somerville off. Jamal Lowe on. And in fact, I'll put McAuliffe back up front. And we will keep them that way round. So that's two changes. We'll try and make a third as well. But I don't think I need to at the moment. Although Thierry Small is tiring, so possibly what I will do then is move Regan Poole to left back. Thierry Small to be replaced by uh, Jordan Story. So let's uh, start the second half, see if we can repair any of the damage from that uh, horrendous first half. And it's uh, straight away a woking highlight. Lockyer plays it into rolls. Tiny Davis through for uh, a Pia Forson and he's got himself another one. It's Ipswich nil, Woking three. This is uh, turning into an absolute disaster of a match. Um, coming on up front, I'm going to bring a Labiosu on and then put Jamal Lowe up front. And then we'll try swapping those two around again. And then let's get uh, Connor Chaplin there. And let's get, what can we do? Um, so Alebiosu can come into the back four. In fact, I'm gonna put Connor Chaplin back in there and just leave it like that. There's very little we can do, it's 3-1. Uh, coming comes out of his area we've got half an hour left 3-1 down Ross in his own penalty area finds Kapakpe long ball forward looking for Jamal Lowe doesn't find him and uh, it's headed down appear Forson through for uh, bolt up uh, bait up sorry and it's 4-1 and this is turning into an absolute rout. So massive changes uh, needed in the summer. Demand more. Um, in fact, I should have gone berate. Nothing to, uh, to lose at this stage. Uh, Ross needs to come off. Um, Kane Vincent Young can come on. And we're into stoppage time, 4-1 down. And is it gonna get worse? It hits the crossbar, it's deflected away, rolls, keeps it alive. Kane Vincent Young wins it back. And that might well be the uh, last action as Linton takes the throw in for Woking. Uh, we are over the four minutes now. Uh, finds Timmy Davis and that is full time Ipswich 1, Woking 4 I'll be back in a moment with the final league table of the season and to tell you what's coming up on the next episode 
Okay, time now to uh, confirm the final league table of the season. And as you can see, we finished in 11th position with 17 wins, 15 draws and 14 defeats from our 46 matches. Not hard to see where the uh, problem lies. Uh, look at the uh, goal scoring column, only 49 goals scored and uh, impressively only 43 conceded for a positive goal difference of plus six and 66 points at the end of the season. And uh, so uh, on the uh, next episode, it will be the uh, pre-season and transfer special. So I will bring you back on the 1st of July when all of the uh, out of contract players have gone and we can uh, start bringing in their replacements. And if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.